There are still questions tonight surrounding the mayhem that unleashed on several city streets this weekend. Tonight, the family of a teenager shot and killed by law enforcement asking for transparency. Monday night, I'm Shari Williams alongside Gray Hall. The big story on Action News tonight is the investigation into the chaos caused by illegal street racers this weekend. The wild and dangerous spinouts leaving parts of 95 right there in South Philadelphia painted with those tire marks. The disturbance ending with an 18 year old being shot and killed by state troopers after investigators say he hit two troopers with his car. Tonight, the family is speaking out through their attorney. Action News reporter Bob Brooks now joining us live outside the state police barracks in Winfield Heights with the very latest. Bob. Yeah, Shari and Gray, I was at uh, the meeting with the family today. All I can say is they're absolutely heartbroken, as you would imagine. They have a lot of questions about what happened. They want them answered. They do not want this to be swept under the rug. Now, as far as everything else goes that happened in the city of Philadelphia this past weekend, and there was a lot of it, city officials say somehow moving forward, it's not going to happen and it's not going to be tolerated. The mother and sister of 18 year old Anthony Allegrini cried together while an attorney spoke to the media from their living room. While the Allegrini family plans a funeral, their legal team vowed they will get transparency after Anthony was shot and killed by Pennsylvania State Police on I 95 around 3 30 a.m. Sunday morning. We need to see that investigation. We need to see those videos. We need to see those dash cams. We need to see all of that stuff. State police describe a chaotic scene. They were dispatched to I-95 in the area of Penn's Landing for numerous vehicles and pedestrians blocking the roadway. Well, upon arrival, troopers found a large group of cars blocking lanes, doing burnouts and drifting with spectators. Well, state police officials say troopers observed a black Audi S4 parked on the shoulder. Well, they attempted to make contact with the driver, but say he didn't yield and actually struck and injured two troopers. Next. The fatal shot was fired. One trooper then discharged his surface pistol through the front windshield and struck Allegrini, who was seated in the driver's seat. But the Allegrini family says they're confused. Video now part of the investigation shows Anthony laying on the highway after being shot. They want to know why he wasn't rushed to the hospital. They also say Anthony would never disrespect law enforcement. This is a good family who's raised their kid to respect authority, respect the police, and that a full, transparent investigation that shows the truth is what they're expecting. The teen's death is part of a truly disturbing weekend for the city. Other incidents include 300 cars gathering at Bustleton and Philmont Avenues around 1 a.m. Sunday. Police say one of the drivers there struck a responding police vehicle. In North Philadelphia, video shows a man wielding a flamethrower as cars drift in the middle of Broad Street. There were several other incidents described by police today that officials vowed they'll crack down on. Okay, Shari. Now, today, Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner said he will get to the truth of what happened this weekend, including to Anthony Allegrini. He says, though, people need to be patient. That is certainly going to take some time as far as the other incidents go. Philadelphia police say now they have a big task in front of them. They're going to look at tons of surveillance and security video and who they can bring charges to. They will. Tonight, reporting live outside the Pennsylvania State Police headquarters in Winfield Heights, Bob Brooks for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Shari. Yeah, it's going to be a big investigation. Okay, Bob, thank you.